And welcome to Championship Weekend, iRacing.com Mustang Challenge. <laughs> Eighth week of this video series. Twelfth week of the season. This is going to be the first of the two races, as it has been all season long. We're at Spa, the longest track. So, so easy to get a ton of 1x's and rack them up and potentially disqualify yourself before the race even really gets going. So, uh, we're just gonna take it easy and thankfully we don't have to drive the entire pace lap around the track. So we're gonna get going real quickly here. Starting on pole for this first race, I actually did the uh, 515 race. I don't know if I'll be able to do the 715 race, but I'll definitely do the SOF race like always. Second to last race of the season. Car. We're in a good spot. I've only raced Spa once in an official race and once in a league race. So this could be get ready. Uh, very interesting. So we get down to gear here. I'm gonna go as soon as the pace car ducks off, which All is right man. now. Pace car is in. Here we go. Green, green, green. Yes, sir. First time through Euroge. Bit loose. Got a lot of fast guys in this field. A lot of guy, a few guys that I don't normally race because I don't join the same splits as them. Hard breaking. Try and get on the gas as quickly as possible. Real easy to lose it here, I found. Car's very light there. Not shifting up to fourth, that just makes it harder to get down to second in this corner. Another corner where the car feels real light. You'll have to forgive me, I don't know the names of all the corners, so I can't just say, oh, this is that corner, this is this. But I do know this is Pohan. I have a lot of off tracks here in practice. Let's try and not get any. Another corner I've had a lot of trouble with. I don't know the name of it. I always found it hard to get right to the inside line. I guess this is stav a lot. Don't quote me on that. I, I really don't know. Like I said, I don't know a lot of the names of the corners here, but I do know coming up is uh, Blanchemont, I think. So I guess I don't actually know. But I do know, very easy to get an off track here as well. Man, close race so far. Use up all the track here. Full 180 on the steering wheel. Or almost, anyway. Hard braking down to second gear. Power hard out of the corner, or as hard as you can. And there we go. That's a lap around Spa. I'm braking right after those curbs end in Orange. And this guy behind me is going to get a big draft off me. I'm not going to fight him for right. it. I know um, I can... Still there. Chances are pretty good I can get him back. All clear, all clear. Chances are we're pretty equal. I know he was only a tenth of a second behind me in qualifying, so... 
I know I can stick with them. As he blinks out for a second. Long race to 14 laps. It's gonna be at least as long in time as um, Road America was. I found something very interesting in practice that I uh, had been messing up on all season. You know how the uh, the ride heights work, I assume, in iRacing? Well, I had thought that the uh, lowest ride height you could get was 4.50 on the rear end, 4.5 inches. I know, I was wrong. It's actually four inches. So I don't know how much time that was costing me on straightaways, as like, like it would here or Road America, but I can tell you, uh, I wasn't getting all the speed that I should have been. And it doesn't really make a difference in the turns, because this isn't really an aero-dependent car. Obviously, it's a pretty slow car. Bit of a defensive line there. From me, that is. Um, so this seems to work better for straight line speed. And mechanical grip is about the same. With the absolute lowest ride heights that I now know are correct. On the rear end. You don't need all that rake here. Or in this car, even. So, uh, Next yeah. Car is the leader. <laughs> oh, he might get a uh, cut track. Maybe not. Good job, the next car is the leader. I'm sure I can catch him. With all these opportunities for drafting, I think... If we just uh, focus, I can catch back up to him. I noticed he's not breaking in... Rouge. Wonder how he's doing it. Good job, the next car is the leader. Him blinking is uh, making my spotter go crazy, apparently. Bad corner entry right there. <laughs> Might be out of uh, the range of his draft right now. Well, maybe not. I saw we. I just gained a tenth of a second right there. If we can nail this corner coming up. Might catch up to him a little bit. Nope, I uh, didn't do it any better than he Good did. Good job, apparently. the next car is the leader. Oh, don't want to hit that curb. That lifted curb right there just sent uh, my right front wheel flying. <laughs> oh, getting right up to that wall. I hit this wall a couple of times in practice and it totally knocked the toe out of the car. They weren't big hits or anything, they were pretty light hits, actually. So I was 
pretty surprised at that. I'm gonna try my best not to uh, do here. that. Not get close to that wall. Real light there. Good job, the next car is the leader. I'm not too worried about him blinking. As long as I can predict it predict where he's gonna be, and it's not like he's warping all over the place, so that should be pretty easy, then um, I think we'll be okay. I think we can still have a chance to win. Ride that curb. <laughs> Hopefully I have enough fuel. Next car is the leader. I put 8.2 gallons in the car. Don't get an off track. <laughs> I really don't want to get an off track. Don't care if I'm fast or not doing it. I don't want to want to minimize the off tracks. I don't want to uh, risk losing the win by uh, getting disqualified. Next car is the leader. Getting a little loose there. Ten to go. I'm gonna be pay playing, uh, not playing, paying close attention to the uh, fuel pressure once we get down to the latter stage of this of this race because I'm doubting my uh, fuel load a bit. And I'll know if it goes down. That top, um... Next car is the leader. That top light on the right side of the dash... The one... closest to the uh, top of the speedometer on the right. That light will go off if I don't have enough fuel, or if the fuel pressure starts to go down and I'm losing fuel. Then I'll know I, uh, screwed up. <laughs> You know what, I gotta keep my eye on the F3 screen a little bit. Just to see if third's catching me or not. I gotta keep that in mind if I'm gonna battle this guy at the end of the race. Because I completely screw up this corner. Good job, the next car is the leader. Thought I was going to get an off track there, too. Thinking maybe it was not such a good idea to uh, let him go in the opening stages. But, you know, that's how we learn. I know for the next race to uh, 
defend now. Good job, the next car is the leader. What I should have done in the first place, but what can you do? Pulling away from the uh, three car a bit there. Cut that corner just slightly. I honestly think my best hope right now is for him to get a uh, slowdown penalty. Good job, the next car is the leader. Because we seem to be about equal right now, and I'm having a bit of trouble catching him. Notice last time I shifted up there. Why did I do that? I'm gonna get an off track. No, I guess not. Good job, the next car is the leader. <laughs> uh, bad line, bad line maybe? No, that seemed to work pretty good actually. Yeah, he's not breaking in the same corners as I am at all. Good job, the next car is the leader. Wonder what he's doing differently from me. By the way, I'm 8th uh, in the championship standings overall right now, as well as uh, my division, which is Division 1. So keep that in mind, too. I don't think I'm going to be in the uh, running for any other points position, because I'm like Next car is the leader. 60 points behind the 7th uh, place car, but, you know, anything can happen. I need to shift up. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think I'm going to gain any positions. I might lose a position, though. There's one guy right behind me in the championship that has like 30 less points than I do, and he's only around seven weeks. So if he runs one of these races, he could easily surpass me and potentially knock me out of the top ten in points, even if another guy uh, comes in and beats my time, I mean my uh, points result. Good job, the next car is the leader. My god, we're only, uh, only just nearing halfway. But we're still in the hunt. It's not over by a long shot. Oh, that was a bad corner. But it's still, it's still not over. I 
And there's the first off track. And I knew that was coming. Because I'd been going off there in practice all week long. And you know what, I think it's time to turn up the wick a little bit. Sacrifice some SR and, uh... Try and catch Good this job. guy. The next car is the leader. But don't hit the curb, so that's bad. Because really, the, uh... Everybody on iRacing knows the off tracks here are kind of ridiculous. And going off the on the, uh, the that AstroTurf, I guess, it's not really dangerous, so might as well use it. And you know what, I have over uh, 4.7 Class A safety rating, so why not use a little bit of that up? And you know what, so far I've only had 19 incidents on the whole season in 18 races. So I think my safety rating is well intact. Good job, the next car is the leader. I mean, I'm not going to try and go off everywhere just because, but if it's reasonable and I think I can catch the guy in front while doing it, then why not? So what do I have now? Two incidents? Good job, the next car is the leader. There we go, there's another one. Gotta try and uh, catch back up. I know I can definitely outbreak him here. Better line, I think, too. Whoa! That's not the better way to do it. Next car is the leader. actually losing time now. He might just have the better car than me. I don't know. Good job, the next car is the leader. I did want to say, uh, I got a very good tip that I didn't realize at first. Um, Dan Rash, who, uh, sometimes races this car in this series, and he's pretty much a uh, specialist in this car. He gave me a pretty good tip a few weeks back that I wasn't actually uh, utilizing. 
because I didn't know what he meant at first. Good job, the next car is the leader. But his tip was, I told him in the forums, and you can check this out if you're on iRacing, of course, in the uh, Mustang forums, that uh, sometimes it was hard for me to tell where the right side of the car was. And he replied back, well, well, uh, I use the, uh, the windshield nozzle, the wiper nozzle, rather, to, uh, approximate where the right side of the car is. And I was like, what? I don't, I don't quite understand what you mean. But then, recently I started looking at it, and I was like, hmm. And I found out he was right, the left side of this little, uh, Next car is the leader. You see where this, that left dot is? Well, where I guess the, uh, wiper nozzle would be installed, I guess? That is a very, very useful tool to approximate where the right side of the car is. And it's actually, uh, helped me a little bit. Especially here, because, uh... Like, right here where this wall is, I can tell exactly where the right side of the car is when I get up to this wall, and I can avoid knocking my toe out. So if you ever drive this car, and you're, if you're not already driving it, uh, use that. It's a very, very useful little tip he has. I'm losing more and more time to, uh, Good Kester job. The next here. Is the leader. Oh. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Well, that's the end of the race. <laughs> well, no way I'm gonna catch him now. That kinda sucks, though. I wasted some SR thinking I had a chance, and, uh, yeah, I just can't do it. He would have to make an even bigger mistake for me to catch him. Well, that kind of sucks, but, uh... You know, we still have one more race to go. Not that I've won an SOF race yet, but anything could happen. It is the season finale. Things could get a little crazy if the right people join up and, uh, something happens. Still four seconds ahead of third, though. I don't think I'm going to actively try to go off track anymore in an effort to catch him. Because four seconds and, what, four laps? Just way too much. Too much time to make up, realistically. And if it, if it does happen, it's not going to be because of anything I do. It's because it's going to be something that he does to cost himself. Because right now it's his race to lose. seems like everybody's... Whenever you, there's a race here, it always seems like everybody's off in their own little world. Nobody's really racing each other. Because the skill set needed to race here is really, really vast and technical. And it really separates the uh, fast guys from the field fillers. Let's not go off here again.
still blinking out, but you know what, it won't be a problem. It's not like I'm anywhere near him. And you know what, sometimes you just gotta accept that it, the other guy's faster. I mean, you can't win them all. You have about five laps of fuel left. You can try. And if you're Gregor Hoodoo or Ray Alfala, even if you're on that level, you still can't win them all. Sometimes things just happen that are out of your, out of your control. Well, in this case, it was completely in my control. But still, sometimes you just gotta accept the other guy's faster and uh, enjoy the race. That's really what it comes down to. My voice chat is on, is it? Yeah, it is. Really quiet this race. Uh, you know what, I think if I did try and block him, it would have only ended badly for me. Because I am not good at blocking. That's why I don't do it that often. And you know, I don't want to take both of the fast cars out. So I'd rather just finish second than uh, retire from the race early. Turning the wheel way too much there. See what I mean about the uh, wiper nozzle trick? Right up to that wall and did not hit it. It was pretty much exactly parallel to the uh, paint on the track. And you know what? I don't think I've ever won on a uh, European track in iRacing. Now granted, I haven't run on too many of them, but on the ones I have ran, I just... Uh, I'm not that good. I'll be frank. It seems like the simple American tracks like Road America, Watkins Glen, those are more in my wheelhouse than well here. Or even American tracks like uh, VIR. I really am terrible there. Another... Trying to think of another technical track I suck at. Well, I, I know I suck at Bathurst, but that's not a European track. But you know what? I'll, I'll count that too. That's a technical track that I suck at. And you know what the funny thing is, uh, that I just realized? The three tracks I won on this season were the tracks that, uh, are currently run in the, uh, NASCAR Nationwide Series schedule for the road course portion. I won at Watkins Glen, it was a low strength of field race, but, um... A one. I might have had a chance of winning a higher SOF, but my computer was brand new and in the middle of a race that I was leading, it shut off to uh, update Windows. I won at Road America, first race, first race ever on that track, and I won it, which also admittedly was not a high SOF. And then I won at uh, Mid-Ohio. So there's three NASCAR tracks for you that I won on, and they're the only ones I won on. Maybe it's just a bit coincidental, but... I love watching those races, and I know those tracks inside and out. Two to go this time by. So that might have something to do with it. 
And I mean, I've seen, like, the Belgian Grand Prix before, or the, even the Bathurst 1000, but I'm not, like, an, a super fan of those series. Like, I don't know these tracks inside and out, like the tracks earlier that I mentioned I won at. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, we got an off track, but I did not spin out. Tires are really worn out now. Bad corner. I think I turned in a bit too early there. Look how much of the, uh, track you can see. You can see all the way down to the, uh, final turn, lost source. That is so cool, in my opinion. Because, of course, you know, back in the day, when you, if you were playing, like, Gran Turismo 2 or something, everything would load in when you got close to it. So, like, you wouldn't even see, like, if you are on the front straightaway at Laguna Seca, you are heading down to, uh, the Andretti hairpin. You couldn't see it till you got, like, within a few hundred feet of it, but... And I know this is a bit of an older game engine, but I think it's so cool that you can just see everything on the track if you have a good enough computer to do it. Alright, have I babbled on long enough to, uh, get you to the white flag? I think I have. Alright, only one more left. <laughs> All right, man. White flag at the line. So, I mean, this race didn't go quite the way I planned, but, um... Yeah, I mean... I did pretty good. I think it's only my third race here, second official race, so I don't expect to win or do good in the SOF race. I think I did okay, considering the circumstances. Oh. You have about two laps of fuel left. It seems like we put in uh, just the right amount of fuel. Fuel pressure is still at uh, 58.8. So that's what we're going to use for the SOF. Hopefully we'll get a, uh, get a much bigger field for the, uh, season finale SOF. I don't know how many points I'm going to get, but 
even if the uh, SOF doesn't go well, a solid second in this race should uh, definitely boost my points rating. Good win, Kester. Yeah, nice win, Kester. Good run, Michael. And there we go, second place. There's the flag, man. It's over. Great job, driver. That was a great race, guys. The long one. Whew. Yeah, you did a great job, Custer. That was really, uh, really a great drive. Run that long race with no mistakes. Nice driving. Yeah, he definitely had the car to beat there, and I made some mistakes myself, so no way I could catch him. Yeah, he's very consistent. Yeah, yeah I did too. I think I made three, three little bobbles. I got got loose on the uh, the downhill left sweeper a little bit, and then uh, had a couple little overshooting, overshooting the entries just a little bit. It's amazing what that'll kill you. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Every little tenth adds up. Alright, guys, well, one more race. That was a great race, I'm with you, Michael. Yeah, you too, man. Have you always, uh, I, I haven't seen you in the Mustangs much, dude. You just new to this series, then? No, I, I usually run the race right after this and then the SOF, so, uh,. But tonight my plans are a little different, so I ran this race instead. Oh, that's why our times overlap. Yeah, I don't usually run that next race coming up. Uh, I'm in central time, so I'm usually at dinner with the wife. But, uh, yeah, that's why we don't cross paths that often. Yeah, I mean, I've been running the full season. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> oh, you're doing well, man. You're doing really well. Yeah, thanks, man. I noticed you were right behind me in points, but we never actually raced so far. I know, isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm usually on. This is usually my last race of the day. Uh, sometimes I'll run uh, uh, a Corvette race or something after this, but uh, I haven't run those in a while. I've just been running the Grand Touring in this series here, but I'm going to be running the Rough next season for sure. I don't know which one I want to drop, either the Mustang or the Mazda. I haven't decided yet. guys well uh hey guys i'm gonna head out we'll catch you next time take care michael hopefully we'll get a chance to run again together yeah absolutely yeah great job great job Custer. see you guys take care fernando good running with you again but always a pleasure all right well uh <laughs> that was interesting uh yeah sof coming up next it's gonna be the season finale it's everything you could ever want it to be. Drama, fighting, explosions, and more. So hopefully we'll uh, see you there, man. Alright, take care guys, bye.